supposed to. Mm, like you told me. <laughs> Play some more if you want.
old-time version of Lonesome Road. Hmm. How, how far, or how, or how much time passed between those two versions? Uh, 50 years, maybe. 50 years or so? I guess. Buddy, buddy. <laughs> 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 Tommy Webb. We 
all have our verbal tics. So. <laughs> they call the, the old stroke style overhands all over East Kentucky. Or drop time, if you drop. So, he's got a banjo player named Chris Goble. I think Chris Goble is his name from Martin County. And I said, Chris, what did your father and grandfather call the old downstroke style playing? He used to call it overhand. Tommy was going around saying, follow him, I said, Tommy. Honor the banjo players in East Kentucky and your your banjo player's ancestors. But never call it claw member. He said, George, I'll do it. <laughs> I bet he has to. <laughs> yeah. He said, I'll tell everybody you told me. It's true. It's true. So, uh, so who came up with claw hammer then? Huh? So who came up with claw hammer then? Ralph. I, I have... See, I have a pre-Civil War reference I think it might come from Black Folk originally. Mm -hmm. But the, no one can come up with any instance of, over, of claw hammer being used before the 60s. <laughs> the first use of the Chicago folk school was it, the claw hammer described three finger <laughs> They doctored to a really great banjo player grew up in Alabama. They 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 called two finger picks and claw hammer. Mm -hmm. Some old fellow or two over in Virginia said claw hammer. Then the common mistake people make, particularly outside the mountains and even in the mountains, is that if it happens right over across that creek, it happens everywhere. It mm -hmm. happens in Nashville, North Carolina. It happens all over. Mm -hmm. So they spread it. People with no feel for language. Because it's terrible, it has a terrible connotation. And I suppose they came from southwest Virginia, but Carl McConnell, you can find his autobiography on the internet, and he said, I don't know why they're calling it claw hammer today. He called it, and that was in 76. He said, they started calling it claw hammer, but we can just call it old hold down banjo when I was a boy. <laughs> But there was a radio performer in Kentucky who was performed in the 30s and 40s radio stations all over the country. His grandfather, great grandfather, and great great grandfather were banjo players going back before the Civil War. And this guy from Chicago interviewed him in 1983. I've got it on tape. The guy that interviewed him was out of Chicago and he interviewed him, I think, for a radio program. They asked him about claw hammer banjo play. Curry called and said we didn't call that. We called it over. <laughs> his grandfather called it over. His great grandfather, his great great grandfather, going all the way back to the city. Now all I can do is settle, I can say. 
this long tall boy that came out the other day and he had long legs and not much of an ass. And I remember a little saying we had when I was a boy. He looked like he traded legs with the Katie did and got traded out of his ass. <laughs> Katie did? Yeah.